You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's up, NASCAR Nightcast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Original Baby Rye here, and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast Review, preferably a NASCAR Diecast 124 review on my YouTube channel. And today we'll be reviewing another Martin Truex Jr. race win that I just recently picked up from my good friends at Plan B Sales. You guys probably know what I'm talking about because if you guys saw the last two episodes of the NASCAR Diecast News, then uh, you guys know what are was going to be expected on this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the uh, Diecast uh, on boxing of martin truex jr's 2017 auto owners insurance charlotte raced version or the playoff race that happened at charlotte so like i just said this is a really awesome looking race version that we got from um Lionel racing and my uh, diecast dealer from plan b sales now you guys probably wonder why i usually get these from plan b sales well i usually get my diecast pre-order from plan b sales because i get a five dollars off because i am a member um so pretty cool right there so not bad for $66 with free shipping as my camera doesn't want to focus in on the race schedule but we all know that schedule is kind of outdated now with all the changes that we have for 2018 uh, so nothing really special with the box but you guys take a look at this car guys it's uh, definitely something you guys do not want to miss this is probably my favorite race version that we got so far from our directioner especially in this paint scheme but without further ado, let's go ahead and start the unboxing and let's start the official review of the March and Drex Jr. Charlotte Race Win. Alrighty guys, we got this diecast outfit the box and before I go ahead and get things started, let's go ahead and uh, take things up a notch and let's go on the little uh, what's included for this uh, race version, like the usual race versions. So as you guys see right there, we got a nice little empty space for the race winner stickers. So you guys know what that means. Since it is a race win, might as well give it another sticker right there. So adding that to the collection, that's number five for win number six. Boy, does that sound ironic. We'll get to that very shortly, guys, because it's a little funny story about that. But here's the driver's card that comes with it as well. As you can see right there, Truex Jr. Um, even uh, happily is so happy they even autographed the car. I mean, what a great guy Truex is. On the background, you can also see uh, him winning at the auto owner's uh, car. And uh, this is a really, really nice looking car. Uh, like I said, my favorite uh, one, and this is actually um, the, a lot of cool features on this car I'll have to show you. But yeah, Truex's second win at Charlotte, so really, really nice. Good display that right there. And of course, we get this nice little, uh, very shiny confetti as well. So um, very nice little touch right there. Um, if I would like to celebrate, I would probably uh, use that. But um, it's more like a collector item. Speaking of collector items, let's get back to this diecast, guys. So, um, note how I said that, yeah, that we, this is, um, I, I have five race winner stickers, and this car has six. Well, this is kind of ironic, because uh, the Chicagoland race version was supposed to come out before this, but with Plan B sales and with the shipment um, report from Lionel, this car actually beat it, so... It's definitely out of order, but don't worry, guys, because the week after this car got released, the Chicagoland car got released. So expect a double diecast from you guys. So probably right after this video, I might have the Chicagoland car because I don't have it yet because Plan B sells, you know, apparently has it on back ordered. But as I'm showing you guys, 360 view of this car, you guys can already see some big differences compared to the Kansas race winner. As you guys see right there, getting a little close up. Um, I just my camera is shaking a little bit. I'm gonna have to get a new tripod. This one's starting to wear out like crap. <laughs> but um, of course, right off the bat, this car has a lot of confetti. Way more, or yeah, way more than the Kansas win that we had, guys. Because the Kansas win only had the blue, the blown out tires, and it was really cool seeing this. Plus, it also has an alternate paint scheme with the uh, hards. I mean, that's for Sherry Strong, apparently. Um, and of course, I mean the uh, the, the the best part of this diecast the monster energy playoff um, banners that we got you know the green splitter the nice bright green windshield with the monster branding and the bright green spoiler and i gotta admit the green looks really nice in this car i can't i mean it looks wonky on the bass pro shops car but i can't really complain about that because he won in that car at homestead which which I, apparently that car is coming out as well very shortly i think uh playing myself says by august 18th it should be came out so um Expect that car in very soon, guys. But uh, yeah, th this car, I, I, man, I, it, it, I mean, for, for a car that doesn't really have that much damage to it, 
there's so many great details with this car. Uh, I usually don't review the sponsors, but for the 124s, I might as well uh, I mean, tag along and show you guys a closer look at the rest of this car, since I just briefly gave you guys that. So uh, right there on the nose, you got the nice Toyota Camry branding on the front. Looks really nice, and just the, like I said, this car littered with confetti. Um, it's really cool that um, you know the splitter is all nice and bright, because if you look closely, this splitter is very dirty, I mean, from all this rubber buildup and dirt, so uh, did a really good job. I wonder if even the underneath is dirty. No, it's all black. <laughs> uh, well, I spoke too soon, but uh, really nice looking details. I mean, I love the Toyota casting on this car. Looks really, really cool. As we go up to the hood, we got even more confetti, which is, uh, you know, just you can barely see the auto owner's insurance logo. Um, man, really, really nice confetti. I think it's up there with, um, I think it's even better than his Don's throwback car um, that he won in... Um, 2016. It's around the hood. Underneath the hood, you got all your usual sponsors uh, that Tr Truex usually has underneath there. So really cool. And the engine detail, if you guys would, you know, briefly want to see that, but I probably wouldn't because not the best. <laughs> but um, going down to the rest of the details of this car, as I'm showing you guys a closer look, we got uh, um, not too much on the tires. Looks like a little bit of tire rub right there. Um, see the Monster Energy playoff um, mark as well with the Coors Light logo so really really nice looking uh, details we got right there uh, lots of uh, <laughs> uh, rubber buildup and uh, burnout marks from the 78 really cool um, or exhaust marks if I had to say um, there's even a little bit of a drip marks as well so that's probably during celebration if I had to guess uh, really 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 nice um, you also got uh, the round of 12 logo and the Vegas um, sticker and some other stickers while well, I couldn't really I mean, I think I, that, that sticker does look familiar, but I just can't really uh, see it that good. And let's take a look. Um, yeah, I mean, the top of this car, easily probably my favorite part of this die cast. Um, just so much confetti. I mean, you cannot go wrong with confetti die cast. Um, and, of course, we got the six race winner stickers as well. I mean, uh, that's really nice um, since this was the sixth time that Shurex won for 2018. Uh, got to focus in on those uh, nice little hearts. I mean, that was really cool that they added that. I mean, uh, when, when I saw Truex won in this paint team, I was like, man, that'd be cool if they added that. And speaking of more details, look at that right there. We've got some more um, dirt marks on the rear corner panel. Um, American Athol logo actually looks uh, very nice with that uh, green spoiler, if I do say so myself. Back to the die cast, you can see right there we got a, um, a little sticker as well. It's right here, or a little decal that says hashtag win one, give one. So technically, it looks like Truex definitely earned that sticker <laughs> or lived up to it, that's for certain. Um, also, as you guys can take a look on the uh, 20, another reason why I like the 2017 cars, the decklet opens on the uh, 124 ARCs. Too bad they don't do that for this year, so might not get any uh, 124s for uh, for this year because of that. Plus, the, 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 uh, the bottom of them are plastic, so... Pretty junky, but uh, roof flaps still open, which are really cool. Uh, mines are a little wonky, but can't really argue right there. Um, oh, silly me, I almost forgot to give you guys the DIN number. This looks like it is number 138. Well, um, at least there's an 8 and a 1 in there, so that's pretty cool, because uh, those were former uh, numbers for Truex, um, and I guess 3 for Dale. <laughs> and here is the other side of the car, which actually, uh, as you take a look, uh, just like the Kyle Busch Bristol race win, um, this car actually has um, printed out confetti decals on the tire, which is really nice, so uh, Lionel definitely hit the park out of this one, that's for certain. I mean, just overall, what a great die cast. I mean, it's got everything you guys like. I mean... The Monster Energy playoff banners, the the, the the confetti is just all over this car. I mean, P -P when you think of a race win die cast, this is probably the one to think of. Um, will I say it is my favorite Martin Truex Jr. die cast for this year? It's definitely up there as you take a look. I mean, there's still so more, still much uh, to, to review about this car, man. It's just amazing. Focusing on that Coors Light sponsorship. Hopefully the kids won't get drunk. Um, and just take a look. I mean, just the matte finish on this looks amazing and just... Uh, and there's the bottom of the die cast if you guys uh, want to see all that. But um, not really too race diversion right there. But it is metal. So another good reason why this is a great 2017 race win. Oh man, I'm going to miss those days. <laughs> but uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, die cast review of Martin Truex Jr.'s 2017 Auto Owners Insurance um, 
Charlotte race win for uh, Furniture Row Racing. If you guys enjoyed this video along with my other March Trek Series diecast reviews, then feel free to uh, slap that subscribe button and make sure to comment, like, and do whatever you can to support this channel. And I will continue making seri a video seri uh, this video series for you guys. And, um, and guys, also check out the NASCAR Diecast News 200th episode live on my channel. It will be on next Thursday, August 30th at 7 p.m. So looking forward to seeing you guys there. But until then, guys, this is a Bridge Bit Ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in another NASCAR Diecast review.